play. First up is Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. The card will either contain a truth from the panellists' real life or something we just cooked up for them, but they won't know until they read it aloud. It's up to the opposing team to sort the facts from the fabrications. Abby, you are up next. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a pet name for my belly button. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Uh, no, no time like the present. Why don't we cut to the chase? What is the pet name? Stevie the chicken. <laughs> Stevie the chicken? Uh, why? So, it's, it actually started when I was about five years old and it was kind of a half imaginary friend, half belly button <laughs> hybrid. I've heard of having, like, a, any... Or an outie, mm. and it's going to be a really big outie to resemble a chicken. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, no, and mine's an innie. I uh, tried to change the mold. So well, yeah, it's, it's a reclusive chick chicken. That it, it's, 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 it's always in, in the coop. Always in the coop. Always Intro, in the, introverted yeah. chicken. Did you think of any other animal that you might name your belly button after? Always chook. Always chicken. I just feel like it makes the most sense. That, that's the big. <laughs> what What about your belly button is chicken-like? So it's it, when I would make it talk, I think I thought it was a beak. So I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be in bed, I'd be like, Mummy, come give me a kiss. <laughs> Mummy, please come give me kisses. Yeah, so mum would have to kiss it. I, I, so mum would go, Night, darling. And I go, Night, mummy. Stevie wants a kiss. <laughs> did mum, did mummy, <laughs> did, did mummy ever try to feed Stevie? Like? No, no. No. Because birds often, they vomit into yes, each other's mouths. that's mouth. what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'd be an awful look if your mum had to vomit into Stevie's I mean. mouth every night. Yeah, your mum was done with it. I'll tell you what I'm angry about. I follow you on Instagram mm. and uh, quite closely, mm. but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right, easy. But I, I, I haven't got a mental image of your belly button, so... Um... The belly button has its own account. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, what do you think, Melissa? Yeah, what are you thinking? Is that the truth or a lie? I'm leaning towards truth because she's that kooky, I think. <laughs> I also Melissa. follow her Instagram account. <laughs> we can all agree she's kooky. But that's not <laughs> that's not what we're being asked to say. That's, by the way. that's not Hang what's on, on trial here. You uh, could be kooky and independently still not have a belly button called Stevie the Chicken. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think she does. Uh, I reckon that if she did, that I would know. <laughs> <laughs> Besties. You think true. You're no, no, leaning I'm, like. I'm leaning. I'm, I'm over the top. I think it's we very we well told, and I, I sort of love Stevie to exist, but I, I think it's a lie. You think it's a lie? All right, Abby, is that the truth or a lie? That story is the truth. Yeah! <laughs> She's good. <laughs> she is very and it is good. True. <laughs> Abby used to call her belly button Stevie the chicken and make her mum kiss it. This is what parents did before Bluey and iPads.